Hello Internet, in today's video we are going to set up our AWS CLI on our Windows machine. AWS CLI is an Amazon Web Service tool that enables developers to control Amazon Public Cloud Services by typing commands on a command line. Using AWS CLI is much more developer friendly as com compared to using AWS services from GUI. So let's get started. Hello everyone, I am Mahesh uh, and I create different tutorial videos about diff on cloud technologies and AWS. So if you are interested in such kind of content, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you will get notified anytime I create a new video. So for installing AWS CLI, we are going to use Python and its peep library. So if you, you haven't already installed Python, I will put up a link in the description box. You can follow that link and install Python on your machine. To check if you have python installed on your machine or not you can just use command python dash dash version it should show you the version that you have installed on a python version that you have installed on your machine so once you, you once you have that you you can run a simple pip command that is pip install aws cli and that that should install uh, AWS CLI on your machine now it is already installed and uh, installed on my machine that is why it didn't do anything new but on your machine you should see uh, some files getting downloaded and downloaded and configured once you have installed AWS CLI next step is we need to create a user which we will use with AWS CLI for creating user we can get, go to AWS IAM and I also have tutorial about AWS IAM so you might be uh, if you are not familiar with that you might want to check that out so let's go to AWS IAM here we will create a new user and let's just say it is a test user for our uh, for for this purpose and we need to grant it a programmatic access then we will add permissions to him and I am adding a, a, a administrative access for this user we can also add a, our tags tags are useful in AWS way, which can be used to filter out different resources and then we will just review these permissions and we will hit create now this has given us a access key ID and secret access key for our user so remember to download it and because once uh, after this screen you won't be able to see this secret access key for that user and don't worry I am not uh, blurring this uh, right now because I will be deleting this user as soon as I finish up this finish up with this video so let me just get get these details from here for configuring user we need to run following command that is AWS configure once we hit that we need to insert these details for this user so first thing we need to grab is its access key id then then hit enter and then we need to insert its secret access key uh, then we need to enter a default region you can keep it a blank but uh, uh, i will enter it's not a mandatory field so it can be blank but i will enter us east one and then again a format uh, it can be either a json or a text so again this field is also also optional once you uh, enter these details your uh, profile is user is configured with aws cli so now you can hit uh, run commands like aws s3 ls which should list down all the buckets in your account and here you can see that all the buckets have been listed uh, for my user the next step is what if we want you want to configure multiple users that can be useful if we have multiple uh, accounts which you are using or you have multiple roles like uh, a user with a developer access or user with a admin access and you want to use them alternatively from same, same machine so in that case there is an option which we can we can use uh, so let let me just create one uh, one more user for to show you this so let me again go to the users add user screen and i now i will create another user and again i will give him a programmatic access 
and this time i won't add him uh, i won't give him any permissions so you can see the difference between those these two users and uh, i have viewed this user and let me create it now when when you want to add a next user or a configure another user there is a command with a, aws configure uh, which you can use is uh, 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 rather not a command but a parameter which you can use it alongside aws configure so if you specify aws configure dash dash profile and then the profile name that you want to use so we are using test user 2 for this purpose and now we can configure uh, say we can repeat the same process again so we need to give x we need to copy access key then the secret secret access key then again we need to specify region which is optional and then we need to give um, give uh, output format this is also an optional parameter so now uh, next thing you would want to know is how you can use different profiles the first profile that we have configured goes deep goes into the default if you didn't specify any profile parameter that becomes a default default profile and when you want to use default profile you don't have to specify anything that's why when you specify aws s3 ls it picked up a default credentials for your account but if you want to use a different profile other than default then you need to profile uh, uh, provide that in command and you can use minus minus profile parameter in each command in each aws cli command to specify particular profile that you want to use so here you can run aws s3 ls profile now we have given a profile name as oh there is a typo in my profile name but anyways that that won't matter here let me just copy that and paste here and now if we run so this command shouldn't run because we haven't given any access to this user so if i run it 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 will say uh, it doesn't have any permissions to access list bucket but if i run it with the default profile it will again list down all our buckets in s3 so yeah you can see this result so this is how you can configure multiple profiles in aws cli and use um, use them I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please like my video. If you have any more questions, please comment below video. I will try to answer all of them. See you in the next video. Thank you.